I just, okay, uh, remember the book of Daniel? Okay, Daniel went to King Cyrus to tell King Cyrus about a story of four kingdoms. And um, the last king will rule, um, the last king will rule the last fourth kingdom, will, will rule the fourth kingdom. Okay, and um, I'm finna play that story of Daniel. king um, that ruled over the fourth kingdom okay this is really important guys because Cyrus is not a um, Israelite you know um, Cyrus is Persian so Cyrus have a different um, a different religion belief um, they are basically Muslims um and you know God picked Cyrus so this Cyrus kingdom will reign a multitude of times so that means Cyrus kingdom is still reigning within our times okay okay guys um Persians okay we have Persians in Iran, Afghanistan, Turkey, Iraq, United States, Israel, United Arab, um, Germany, Canada, Russia, um, so on and so on, guys. Okay, we have Persians. Okay, Persians, Persians' um, religion would be Shat Muslims, Sunni Muslims, um, Christianity, and Baha'i. Bahai, um, Judaism, um, and also, um, also, um, this kingdom will reign, um, a multitude of times. So this mean, that mean that we are still under that, um, under that ruling, um, and come to find out that our president, every president we done had have been have been um some kind of kin well kin to Cyrus the Great. So they have been Persians. Um and the only reason how the Persians, which is the Muslims, um came to know God was because of Daniel and God um anointed Cyrus. So this is how um the convert the the converted I mean the convert to the Muslim converted to knowing some Muslims converted to knowing um, Christianity. So this power struggle um, from one religion to another um, is it's all Persians, guys. It's all it's all of Persians. But um, when God anointed. Cyrus, Cyrus, pretty much, um, pretty much, pretty much put Christianity into into the Muslim faith, guys, and and that's how you got some Christianity, um, some Christians um, that converted to Muslims inside of you know inside of um, the Persian 
inside of um, inside of the Persians. Okay, um, Persian peoples. Okay, um, Shanjah um, was one of the ones um, radical. Um, was was one of the ones that was radical Muslims who wanted to crucify um, every other religion beliefs. You know because because they didn't want Christianity. Uh, any other other religion except Muslim. So this is the guys that that um, that that Donald Trump named his casino after Taj Mahal, and Taj Mahal um, is is named after a uh, uh, emperor who a powerful emperor, and that emperor named Shan John who named his his um, wife Tun Taj Mahal. And Sean John is, a, is is one of the radical Muslims that pretty much um, from from Cyrus the Great that you know um, that didn't want that kind of establishment that Cyrus the Great had built. You know, putting Christianity, putting the Israelites, you know, faith, you know, God Most High faith with 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 their faith. You know, and 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 starting this kind of starting other religion, and getting and getting the Persians to know God Most High. See, Sean John didn't want that, so that's who um, Donald Trump named his um, casino after. Someone that didn't want the Christian faith and wanted to slaughter all children's, you know, all the children, all other all other religions. And on top of that, guys. United States. That's how United States got um, got to come into power because United States made a well. They was England. England. Um, Sean John made made of um, made a deal with the Englands and and um, George Washington, the first president. His his father was one of the ones that. That was a part of of the England. Um, that was a part of the England um, military at that time. So, so uh, Sean John pretty much captured all of the Israelites. All this took place after King Cyrus. Sean John, you know, was was the ruler at that time. So Sean John. Um, pretty much didn't play that guys. He was really radical and he wanted to kill off every other religion to restore um, Muslim faith and you could say he's he's ISIS, you know, that's how all that formed up. They go way back from the biblical days guys because King Cyrus, God gave King Cyrus, the, you know, um, his his power and King Cyrus was 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 one of the the powerful rulers who went out and 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 took captive, you know, everyone and restored um, the Israelites uh, back to their home, and and so everyone had to pretty much learn the the Christian faith, you know, um, God Most High, and um, after 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 King Cyrus passed away, um, you know. Um, his peoples was one of the Persians, you know, all of them Kent people, one of the Persians, you know, um, came into ruler and, you know, um, it just went on and on and on. But the kingdom, the fourth kingdom, were, 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 were pretty much, we were pretty much in our time being, a, being that same ruling. Um, and it, it's called a Baha faith. I think I'm pronouncing it right, guys. Well, that's this is how United States got established. It's upon our law policies. It's upon a Baha faith, and it, it's a Persian um, faith, <laughs> which is Muslim, guys. So the whole form of of our of our um, judicial system um, is wrapped around this Baha faith, which is, which come from the Persians. So everything. All our beliefs, um, all our law policies, 
um, the presidential, how they, how everything is set up, the the um, the judicial branch, how it's set up, is is set up the same way, guys. On Baha Faith, the Persian um, Muslim establishment. So we are not up under um, God Most High rulings. And this is how you, um, England came into power by um, by Sean John, which is which is one which was the powerful um, emperor that ruled all of Middle, Middle Eastern because he pretty much took over Cyrus kingdom and, and he ruled all Middle Eastern. So they wanted to, Sean John wanted to do um, some kind of, um, I want to say, I want to say um, trading, uh, foreign trading with other countries. So, um, so the England wanted to do business with them on different trades. See, see, um, see, um, Sean John pretty much took all the took took all the Israelites um, into captivity and took all a all a riches and 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 gold and everything like that. Took took it all and enslaved the Israelites all over again, guys. So um, United well, United States to England um, on this boat ride, on this boat ride that uh, Sean John, which is Muslim. Um, oh, I forgot to um, point out something. When Sean John, the powerful emperor, which is on the Middle East, had took over the Israelites, the Israelites. The Israelites had, had to convert to Muslims, had to convert to the Muslim um, faith and tradition. Uh, they had to um, be quiet and, 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 and take either, I think, um, they had to take their faith, uh, play like they, you know, like they was, you know, um, took their faith. So, um so this particular boat ride, guys, um, and trading with the England, let's say it went bad. Um, this is George Washington's father, guys. He's he's one of the guys who pretty much um, who pretty much was on this particular boat ride doing business with um, the Middle Eastern Persians, which um, took captive um, the Israelites. Okay, on this particular boat ride, the Englands, the Englands pretty much raped and slaughtered and murdered um they they was pretty much pirates raped and murdered and killed they tricked the persians and stole all their gold that you all their gold come from the slaves which is the israelites come from them anyway guys so so the england got all the gold all the women and children and they raped and slaughtered and thrown over the boats all kinds of stuff, guys. It was, it was just horrific. Okay, this how ruthless they is, guys. Okay, boom. So, so the Englands in establishment now they took the power from from the Persian, and that's how they came into power. And that's how George Washington got his slaves. And then when George Washington's father died, um, it passed over to George Washington. Um, that's how George Washington became um, the president of the United States, guys. The first president. Um, he was rich through his father, through that whole um, deception um, of trade and and boat ride and, and taking the slaves and the riches and all that stuff and bringing them over to America and establishing what we call the United States of America. Okay, guys. So that's the history 
Um, it's pretty much I, I summed it up less than 15 minutes, and that's how we um, through their faith. Um, that's how we became. Um, they got the whole president. Um, that's how we became. Well, not we. I don't want to say we. That's how they became in power. And that's how they started the establish of uh, the whole presidential branch. It, it pretty much, um, I think, deep down in my heart, um, when another country take over another country, they pretty much um, bring over the the king or the powerful one or who they they kin people or something like that and and, and place them under them and that's probably how they got the idea of I don't know of um, setting up the um, the whole presidential branch because Persian had had a little establishment a little rule you know um, that kind of um, system going on and England which is United States had to pretty much learn from them but you thought that the Persian Muslims was you know was this um, crazy group of people want to kill and slaughter everybody it, they wasn't nothing until they met England <laughs> you know England was was more crazy and ruthless and, and these are the presidents that we have. All of them are kin people. Um, all of them come from the same um, family blood lineage, guys. So we have um, basically uh, the kings, um, the king families going together on war, and we have the Israelites being up on a slavery, um, up on a slavery, and they going to war with each other. It's, it's a constant battle of um, them stealing the kingdom from each other and taking the kingdom. And we have a history of the Israelites, um, God's children, being under the, you know, um, slavery and getting freed and being under that slavery all over again. It just, it's, just a, it's just a war between um, that, that, um, that family blood lineage. And it's really... Cannons, Cannons and Jeffords, <laughs> you know, Cannon and Jeffords, blood lineage, you know, um, Egypt um, and Persian and, you know, it's, it's uh, Philistines, um, the Philistines, um, Egypt, um, Egyptians, um, they're just relatives. And the the um, I want to say the Israelites is like caught in the middle, you know, um, of their sick games, guys. You know, um, so um, 